Well hi guys, my name's Andy Tidy and welcome back to another edition of Canal Hunter. This summer I've been taking a bit of time to make a number of photo stream videos. These are either covering routes that I've looked at before using new colourised images or, as in this week, looking at some of the more obscure sections of the Birmingham Canal navigations. Now, given the number of new viewers to this channel, it's possibly a good idea to remind you that the Birmingham Canal navigations, or the BCN, was a network of Industrial Revolution era canals which stretched over 160 miles on the Birmingham and Black Country Plateau and they were quite literally the arteries which served the massive industrial growth of the area. Of this 160 miles, about 100 miles remains available to be used but during the 1950s and 60s the other 60 miles fell into disuse and were then abandoned. Now among these other lost 60 miles some were through routes like the Bentley Branch and the Tolend Canal, but others were just branches built to reach collieries and local ironworks. Well my focus in this week's episode is the Ocker Hill Branch, a three quarter mile branch canal which followed an east-west course about half a mile south of the Bradley Locks Branch and about half a mile north from the Tolend Canal. Ocker Hill Branch had me really confused when I started tracking down the Lost Canals because, like its two neighbours, it seemed to connect the Wolverhampton level near Tipton with the Warsaw Canal at the bottom of the hill. But the strange thing is, it seemed to enter a tunnel just where the ground seemed to drop away and there was really no indication of the set of ten or so locks which would be needed to bridge the vertical gap between the two. That all became clear when I started to dig into the history of this branch, which was built in 1774, and it was included in the original plans submitted to Parliament for the original Birmingham Canal in 1768. Whilst the Ocker Hill branch did cross mining country, its destination was in fact the Ocker Bank, a bit of outlying high ground which the locals refer to as Ocker Bonk. This location is very much at the centre of the tangle of canals which surround Tipton and it was here that the BCN built its works and its major central pumping station. So in actual fact a water link did exist between the Warsaw Canal and the Birmingham Canal, it's just that part of it was in the form of a deep pit up which the water was recirculated. Now the problem of the profusion of canals running up and down the hill in this area meant that within a couple of miles you'd got the Riders Green Locks, the Toll End Locks and the Bradley Locks all drawing precious water off the summit level. And that's water that this area could ill afford to lose. And so the Birmingham Canal Company built this huge pumping station initially sucking water out of the Warsaw Canal through a tunnel at the foot of the well. But then later, when mining subsidence caused this tunnel to collapse, a further branch was built at the bottom of Ocker Hill, now known as the Lower Ocker Hill Branch, and that fed water into the bottom of the pumps. That branch still exists today and is used as residential moorings. Now the strange thing about the Ocker Hill Branch is the extent of its total destruction following its abandonment in 1955. We've got quite a few old photographs which show the canal perched up on a high embankment, but in time this was all levelled off and reused as the Moat Farm Estate. These days it's possible to find the location of the junction on a bank at Summer Hill, but as you gaze out across the rooftops towards Ocker Bonk in the distance, you can only imagine how it used to look less than 100 years ago. And that brings me to this week's photo stream. I've assembled a collection of photos charting the course of this long lost waterway all the way from its junction with Brindley's original Birmingham Canal at Summer Hill to the pumping station at the far end, with its tall chimney serving as a beacon along the way. But as you look at these images 
you will see the massive cooling towers of Og Hill Power Station, which sat at the foot of the hill. This power station was fuelled by coal brought in along the Warsaw Canal. And so this photo stream will end with a virtual drone sequence looking at this station from all angles. And to help you orientate yourselves, we've also added a Google flyby, which runs from the power station site at the bottom to the Birmingham Canal Junction at the top. It's not a long flyby, so I will run it at both the beginning and at the end of the photo stream. So here is the first version of the Ocker Hill photo stream. I hope you enjoy it.
well that's it. That's the Ocker Hill photo stream for you. I hope you enjoyed it. The Ocker Hill branch has got to be one of the most obscure of the lost waterways of the BCN. But anyhow, for now, cheerio and happy hunting. I'll see you soon. Thank you.